Hey guys, what is going on? Mike here with Things You Might Like, and today I wanted to go through the ultimate parachute drop-in routine. Now there are plenty of videos showing about how to get down as fast as possible, but I'm going to share with you my formula to get you exactly where you want to go, faster than the other guys, and set yourself up for the best positioning possible for the rest of the game. So let's jump right into it. Now before the airplane takes us to drop off onto Death Island, I wanted to show you guys my reshade settings that I will be using during this game. Hopefully what you're seeing now isn't too bad, I mean your screen will make this look different depending on what you're watching it on, but this is what I like to use, just a little bit more vibrant and a little bit sharper. So this is without my reshade settings, and then this is my reshade settings I'll be playing on. And if you haven't watched my video on how I got to these settings, if you like them, you can check that out in the top right corner and you can copy those settings. So the absolute first thing that you want to do, I do it every time the game starts, you want to line up the airplane with the map because you can visually see where you're at compared to the ground when you do this versus when you actually use the in-game map, the airplane icon won't show up for a few seconds. So you want to get a visual of the island right away so you can start planning on where you want to go. Now that we're positioned, we have one of two choices to make. First, are we going to go somewhere far away and try to get away from people? In this case, are we going to be going to Mill to Power? Are we going to go to Stall Bar, Yaz, something like that? Or are we going to try to drop within about 500 meters, maybe even up to one kilometer away from the airplane? If you're going to go far away, instead of floating really far, my suggestion is to get a vehicle right away. Now there are lots of tools to show you where the vehicle spawns could possibly be. One that I like to use is a program called PUBG Sumo. And if you've never heard of it, I have a video for it you can check out in the top right corner right now. And I'll have a link down in the video description. It's a great way to get started and help you familiarize yourself with the map and where cars and vehicles could possibly spawn. So, I recommend dropping right away to get to one of these vehicle spawns. The reason I don't recommend floating all the way is because you limit your choice. Perhaps you decide to jump late from the plane and you float really far away and the circle spawns and it's on the other side of the map. If you had dropped straight down and gotten a vehicle and that had happened, then you have more choices on where you want to go loot and be able to get to the circle on time. Whereas if you're floating, you limit yourself and you're gonna be stuck with wherever you're landing. So get down, get a vehicle, go to wherever you wanna go and if you have to adapt, then you have that ability to do so at that time. So now I'm going to decide where I want to land. In this case, I'm going to choose the barn at Ferry Pier. And notice, I actually put my marker about 100 to 150 meters away from where I want to land. The reason for this is when you do a straight down dive, once your parachute deploys, if you hold W, it takes about 150 meters to end up where you want to go. So I'm just marking where I want to be in a completely straight down dive and then my parachute will deploy and it'll take me right there. Now I am positioning myself to prepare for the drop. I do that by looking up above the horizon, so once I leave the airplane, my character doesn't pick up any unnecessary speed, and I'm waiting until my yellow marker gets right over my wing because that is the shortest distance I'm trying to go. Once it's over, I deploy, and I'm not even looking at my character. I am looking purely at my marker so I can line it up right away. Let me replay that for you. So you can see, right when I leave my plane, I am facing nowhere near where I wanna go. So I don't even pay attention to my guy. I am purely looking at my compass at the top of the screen. My single goal in this instance is to line up my character, my little white arrow, with my marker. I don't care what my guy's doing until this is what's happening. Once I am lined up, then I start focusing on my next objective. Next, I'm going to be focusing on the mini-map in the bottom right corner. What I'm looking for here is to position my character about 100 meters away from this target point. The reason you want 100 meters is because the time it takes to transition to your flat 126 kilometer descent down to the full 234 kilometer descent, that transition takes about 100 meters to perform. So when you start this transition 100 meters away from the point you want to drop, it will put you right where you want to be 
to reach that 234 kilometers per hour. Once you are in the final nosedive, you hold that W key all the way to the bottom. And if you notice in the bottom left corner, watch how much parachute drop I eliminate. If you're going about over 230 kilometers an hour, you will drop about half your parachute and that's the key. That's what you wanna to do to get lower than everybody else. If you try to stretch too far out, you won't have the distance necessary to get to that speed on your descent so you won't get that parachute drop and you won't get down as quickly as possible. The last thing is to just make sure that you eliminate as many of those last second minute adjustments as possible. It's easy to tell why you don't want to do this when you're going straight down and someone next to you tries to turn their parachute. They will quickly slow down and you'll get much slower than them in a hurry. So it takes a bit of practice, but with that practice you'll be able to hone in, get a straight shot and land exactly where you want to go with as few adjustments as possible. So what do you guys think of these steps? Personally, I really like it and I do it every game. I've gotten better and better. My favorite part is just the fact that it's repeatable. I can guarantee that I will get down really, really quick when compared to other people parachuting and that gives me more options on the actions I want to take, whether I want to duke it out, bug out, or whatever the case may be. So let me know if this works out for you and if you have a faster, better way to get down, I want to hear about that too. I'm always looking for ways to get better at my gameplay and so if there is an even better option out there, let me know. If this video helped you out, would you mind just clicking the little thumbs up button and sending a like my way? I really appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more about Battlegrounds tips, some of the equipment that I use, and lots of different reviews that I do on this channel. There's all sorts of content and I post regularly every single week, usually a couple videos a week. Thanks for hanging out with me today guys. This is Mike with Things You Might Like and I'll see you with the next cool thing.